All right, here we go. Question number four from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math. It says solve the following logarithmic equation. And I don't know if you notice one, two, they, we've got three logs. Do you see that? That's two darn many logs. And so what we're going to have to do to solve this log equation is we're going to have to condense some of these logs. So up here in the right hand corner, I've got the problem written down. Let's get started. If you recall our lesson on the properties of logarithms, we know that if two logs have the same base and they're separated by a subtraction, then we can use the quotient rule and recall that a subtraction turns into a fraction. So we can condense these two logs here. The two logs are going to become one. And this only works if the logs have the same base, which they do. And remember, whoever comes first is on top. So the C plus 27 is on top. The C plus 7 is on bottom. Equals log base 2 of C. And what did we just demonstrate there? That demonstrates the quotient rule that a subtraction turns into a fraction and the two logs become one. Now, fun fact, if you have log base 2 of some stuff equals log base 2 of some other stuff, as long as there's only two logs and no other terms and those logs have the same base, they can cancel. And so that'll leave us with C plus 27 over C plus 7 equals C. And so now we have a rational equation that we need to solve for C. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this C here by itself. I'm going to F it up. I'm going to fraction it up so that I'll have a proportion and then I can cross multiply. So that's going to give me C times C plus 7. And going the other direction, 1 times anything is itself. So that'll just be C plus 27. Next, the distributive property, C times C gives me a C squared. C times 7, 7C equals C plus 27. And I don't know if you noticed this, but since we have the C squared show up, that makes the equation quadratic. And if it's quadratic, that means I have to set it equal to 0. So we're going to bring the C and the 27 over so that we can get this equation equal to 0. And let's see what's that going to give me. C squared. I've got a 7C, and this C coming over becomes negative. That's going to make that a 6C. 7 minus 1 is 6C, and the 27 becomes negative 27. And so now I have a... a Standard trinomial, a simple quadratic equation. Remember, the fastest way to solve a quadratic is by factoring, if it'll factor. So let's give it a shot. We're going to read the signs. Minus makes the signs different. C and C to give me the C squared. And then for the big question, are there numbers that multiply to make 27 that subtract and make 6? And I'm thinking 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Notice 9 minus 3 does give me a positive 6. And so that is factored correctly. Now let's set each factor equal to 0 and solve. And we'll have two solutions. Here we go. C equals negative 9. And we also get C equals positive 3. <clears throat> okay, so if these are both valid solutions, they should work in the original problem. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check these answers just to make sure that they are valid solutions. So going back to the original problem, we have log base 2 of C plus 27. And so I'm going to check the negative 9 first, replacing the C with negative 9, minus log base 2 
of negative 9 plus 7 equals log base 2 of negative 9. Now there's a couple of things here that are that are red flags. Uh, this guy and this guy, those are big red flags because what is negative 9 plus 7? That's negative 2. And then over here, this is log of negative 9. And it turns out that you cannot take the log of a negative number. So both of these cases uh, give me the situation where I have to take the log of a negative number, and that's not possible. So that means that the negative 9 fails. It's not a valid solution. Let's check the 3. We're going to have log base 2 of 3 plus 27 minus log base 2 of 3 plus 7 equals log base 2 of 3. Replacing every C with the 3 and let's see if this works out. Log base 2 of, that's going to be 30 minus log base 2 of 10 equals log base 2 of 3. And then I could use my calculator, but I'm going to pretend like I don't have one or, or you're not allowed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember the quotient rule. Remember, subtraction turns into a fraction where the 30 goes on top and the 10 goes on bottom. And we're going to see if this simplifies to be equal. 30 divided by 10, that's 3. So does the log base 2 of 3 equals the log base 2 of 3? Those are identical. That checks out. And so that tells me that the C equals 3 is the only valid solution. And so we're going to plug that in and check it. Bam! And we are correct. Okay, so before I sign off on this one, just remember, if you're solving a log equation and you get multiple solutions, you should really check those answers. More than likely, one of them's not going to work, okay? There are some cases where they do both work, and there's also some cases where neither one of them work, okay? So you really should check those solutions. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.